to bring peace. You see that uh, you heard about Mr. Tondaman, the leader, past leader. You heard about this. He is a very patient. He more than 50 years wait for the, his time to achieve the citizenship for more than 100,000 upcountry people. 50 years he wait, you know. That's have a chance to chat him at all that time. Your Tamil people have a good educated people. Mm. No have the good leader. No have the flexible leader, you know. The flexible leaders, we need the flexible leaders. So that, that's why we don't, we, our problem is are going, we are, our leaders are lawyers, they are leading lawyers, but here we need patience and we need the peaceful man. You see, negative emotion cannot bring anything, good thing, you see. Yeah, we have the war and we have hundred years problem. Take some time to sort it out. Okay, again we will come back to the diaspora, okay. Uh, I am very closely working with them. They are, ninety percent of the diaspora, they are very good people. They spend their life here and some, they are born in diaspora. They have good feeling with their kids and kids here and they are support lot to the people, lot to the armed struggle. The problem is that now I am facing the 10% of extremism group. They are disturbing these people. Who? Can you name them? Yeah, it's a, uh, you know, this uh, Nadiavan, this Vinayakam, this, uh, uh, this Father Emmanuel. You know, uh, this kind of people and uh, this Jaya, uh, Tamil Net Jaya is a one website. Kind of these people and this um, this uh, B, this BTF in UK and GTF, these groups are they. You see, they are very well off in Europe or uh, outside Sri Lanka. Their children are very well off, okay. They are only, <laughs> only they are, they are poisoning the younger generation, you know. Their kids are well off, but they, they look where they can poison, you know. So but I, I will not let them play here, this game. Uh, first, uh, if they want to poison here, first they have to kill me. Then only they can go inside. Because it's a, it's a, I already we spent more than three decades. More than 30 years. So I want these people happiness. You cannot see these people face always sad. Never be happy, laugh. I want to see their happiness. Smile, you know. These people born, they never see the happiness. Why they, why your example, they are, their children are very happy. They are in the luxury life. But here in this many people, their children are no have bicycle. Go to school. They morning if you go Vanni, walk along the roadside, the children walking. Two kilometers, three kilometers. They are some people run, some student running. You see. It is a life here. They are crying for the future, you know. I cannot let them to again fall in the wrong place. So you are saying you will not allow, as long as you are alive, you are not going to allow these groups in Europe and elsewhere who are small minorities who are trying to revive this armed movement, you are not going to allow them to do that. Exactly. If they, if they mobilize or if they try to create the trouble here, I will not let them do. First, they have to kill me. Isn't it also a fact that some countries in Europe uh, during the last stages of the war were somehow trying to rescue uh, some, the top leadership of, uh, of LTT? That uh, exactly, that uh, we, you know, the, from uh, 
January, I worked very hard to stop the war. January of which year? Uh, 2009, you see. Uh, I'm very, I, I try very hard, day and night, to stop this war. But uh, you see, the, especially our side, the LTT, they are, until the last moment, they are not willing to support that. So, actually, I lose uh, that uh, hope. But the last moment, I, I think the maybe 17 or 50, 16 or 17 of May, maybe 15, I think, I remember. Uh, they asked me that, okay, if they are uh, ready to leave the country, uh, give us the name and the detail, uh, they can send the ship to, uh, they can go somewhere. Which country was this? It's a, actually, it's a, it's a UN, uh, and UN uh, ally with uh, some other countries that, uh, you know, that uh, it's a, like, um, I don't, I don't point that uh, countries, that uh, it's a Western countries. So they did try to rescue? Uh, yeah, they try to rescue, uh, but it's too late, you know. It's, um, um, it's uh, every, that uh, from January I, I see that every, every time we are late, every move. Why? Why do you think LTT kept missing opportunities for peace, to, from starting from 2002 onwards? <laughs> Not only 2002, it's an earlier stage also that uh, when uh, that uh, uh, Indian Prime Minister later, Rajiv Gandhi, he talked with uh, President J.R. J. Vartana and uh, arranged some kind of settlement. Before 13th Amendment, okay, earlier stage also he tried. That time also LTT missed the chance. Again that uh, uh, when India Sri Lanka Accord will lose the chance. It's a, uh, especially the uh, Prabhakaran, he, uh, he know only one thing. He says Tamil Ilam, separate state. He is not ready to negotiate this one. So, the, with this stream he gone, that's it. So, do you think that uh, the 2002 ceasefire was merely a ploy just a delaying tactic? It's, um, you know, that uh, it's um, exactly, it's uh, because uh, LTT is that time is a uh, one side is uh, even they win some battle, but uh, uh, very bad shape that um, economically the food and everything. So that um, uh, we outside world they are different. It's uh, another Big thing is a 9-11. You know that uh, American president put that, uh, okay, very strict uh, condition and he put the very good uh, network and his work and his statement. And then this one is uh, the 9-11. You see, after the 9-11, all movement, all armed struggle become a terrorist organization. It's a big step back, so that from this, how to come out? Because it's a, it's a, you know that um, this 9/11. That time we are uh, after 9/11, we we faced lot of trouble. So a uh, lot of delegations went out uh, in that period, uh, post 2002. For, you know, LTT delegations went to Europe, and apparently they went for peace talks. Why did even that fail? Was there something else happening behind that? <laughs> that I, earlier I told you that uh, it's a provider never feel that to can negotiate the Tamil Ilam. That's it. Simple. So those uh, those trips to Europe made by uh, LTT leaders. What was what was it about? It's a part of that, uh, you know, the part of the peace talk, eh? because they, they need some time to re-strengthen. 
So this restrain they need some time. So this is a part of peace talk. So they travel and they met their supporters and they, you know, that uh, everyone know they have the uh, public meeting and they speak in the negotiation table one thing and they speak uh, uh, with the diaspora Tamils one thing. This one all embassy people, they record it, they was record and they put it and so to the embassies you see how they are serious about peace talk. Uh, it's uh, everyone know it's uh, so basically around that period they were actually preparing for war they preparing for strengthening their uh, you know the arm um, um, arm site and the strengthening for the uh, economical side uh, technical side so it is uh, they are, uh, well, they done do you regret your role uh, in LTT? You were the international, uh, you, you were heading the international secretariat of LTT and you were helping them uh, procure arms and other weapons. What is your, uh, how do you look back at your own role? You see the uh, 1970s that um, uh, here in Sri Lanka, it's a or the Tamil youths, uh, they are very emotionally uh, moving towards freedom struggle. I am one of that. Uh, we lose, uh, okay, a lot of Tamil youths, okay, in this armed struggle. A lot of uh, the people lost a lot of them. Here, the, after the, this war, 35 years, we look back. It's, um, you see, the... Uh, example, the, um, I feel that uh, not only this armed struggle, from 1950, the Tamils are losing step by step. You see that uh, before independent, that um, uh, Mr. G.G. Pondambulam asked 50-50. Finally, the majority that uh, that time, I think, uh, who that time the majority side they say 55 45 they came to the term so that Tamil party they don't agree 45 55 okay the parliament seats today that we are the second third stage you know the first uh, majority is single second is uh, Muslims and third are Tamil we are in the third stage so that 50-50 uh, come now, the only our parliament, uh, who's, how many people, that only 20, uh, 13 or something now. Okay, how we are losing step by step, you know. It's, um, uh, so the problem is that uh, we, we are losing opportunity, you know, that uh, I want to break somewhere, put the break, okay, <laughs> you see. If you look that, I say, oh, we are losing, 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 losing. So that um, is not good sign, I feel. Uh, we have to, you see, that uh, we have to stop somewhere and uh, start up the life, you know. Again, that uh, they are poisoning the young generation, this, uh, I don't agree on that. How do you look back at, at the, you know, Indian involvement in all of this? Uh, you see that, uh, that uh, I say, the, um, 1980, Mrs. Gandhi period, Mrs. Indriya Gandhi period. That time is uh, the, um, the Cold War nearly end, but the still Cold War time. Okay, Sri Lanka have the Israel base. Okay, America and Sri align some kind of thing here. India is with the USSR. I have the differences. Um, so the when our issue burn, uh, so the Indira Gandhi put the hand on that.